Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Felix here from MyGunDiary.com and Straight Shooting Show, and I've got a real treat for you guys today. It is, of course, what's in my hands, the Springfield M1A. It shoots a 7.62 by 51 or 308 Winchester round, and it is simply an awesome rifle. I want to say thanks to my good friend John for letting me take it out to the range and put some rounds through it. It's highly accurate. I had a great time shooting it. As you may or may not know, the Springfield M1A is the civilian version of the M14. I've never shot one of these before. I always wondered why the military replaced this rifle with the M16, because it seems like such an awesome rifle. But after uh, spending a few days with it and shooting it, as awesome as it is, as accurate as it is, I can definitely see some of the reasons why they decide to replace it with the M16. The first thing I noticed about it is the weight. It is a pretty heavy rifle and it's also pretty long. So in the jungles of South Vietnam, <clears throat> it's uh, not really the best rifle to wield around, you know, quickly. And I wouldn't want to carry this around all day, that's for sure. Uh, John's rifle here has a, it's been set up, you know, to be highly accurate. It's got a Vortex scope on it. It's got this very nice uh, leather cheek rest here by a company called RLO. It cinches together here in the bottom with leather straps. Uh, it's really comfortable to put your cheek up to it. Uh, I really enjoyed shooting this thing a lot. So check out the video. Uh, I've got some more comments and some more thoughts and thanks for watching. For starters, the Springfield M1A is simply a beautiful rifle design. The concept came about as an improvement of the M1 Garand and what an improvement it is. It fires a 7.62 NATO or 308 Winchester. It's gas operated, magazine fed, and features a two stage trigger at five or six pounds. The stock is walnut, but you can also get a composite stock made in a variety of finishes and colors. You'll find a very useful flip up shoulder rest built into the buttstock, and it really does help stabilize the rifle when shooting from pretty much any position. The Vortex scope was expertly mounted by my good friend Scott at Drake Fine Sporting Arms of El Paso and it's sighted in perfectly. Scott even provided John with a dope sheet with mill dot corrections out to a thousand yards. I recently joined the El Paso Gun Club which requires a short off-road journey to get to. It's located near the New Mexico state border with Texas and let me tell you the scenery is tough to beat. Here you get another look at that gorgeous leather cheek rest. Once I found a comfortable spot on it with good eye relief, the targets had no chance. This rifle is dead on accurate. As I mentioned, you can shoot either the 7.62 NATO or 308 Winchester ammo. One thing to know, however, when buying magazines for the M1A, the magazine for the FN FAL rifle looks extremely similar to the M1A magazine, so just look out for that. Once I loaded up a couple of 20 round magazines, it was time to put those rounds down range. Shooting at ranges 100 to 250 yards, this rifle was highly accurate. Next time I think I'll try taking it out to 400 to 500 yards, which I'm sure it will also have no problems hitting targets. It has a little bit of a kick even with the hefty weight, and I could just imagine how unwieldy the fully automatic military version must have been. Probably uncontrollable and useless. But as a semi-auto rifle, it might have no equal. So as you've just seen, the Springfield M1A is super accurate. I had a ton of fun shooting it. 
Um, hopefully my friend John let me borrow it again so I can put some more rounds through it. And I just want to say thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave a comment. Tell me what you think about the M1A. Do you think that the M14, the military version of this, should have been replaced? Hmm? Do you think the M16 was a better choice for the military? Uh, a lot of military units still use this as a designated marksman rifle and as a sniper rifle. But anyways, hey, thanks for watching again. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel, and we'll see you next time.